week. The pint-sized pigs are joining us live this morning, <laughs> along with Chris Murray, who is the farmer who took nine years to breed them, and he's joining us from Pennywell Farm in England. Good morning to you, Chris. Introduce us. In fact, just check the gender, but that's the <laughs> <laughs> And that one, oh, wrong one there, sorry. <laughs> That's Diane. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're... And... That's the one. That, that's Robin. <laughs> All right. That's a pretty pig right there. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a neat little one here. That's Chris. Ooh. Oh! Hey. Look at that. That's rough. Truly the size of a teacup when they're born. These are now two weeks old. And eventually they'll be like yep. spaniels, just lap dogs, basically, right? That's right. Yep, they'll be la they'll become lap pigs, really. They'll grow the size of a spaniel, and um, the nice thing about them is they can be house trained. They're full of character. They're very intelligent. You can have a meaningful time with them, and they relate to the world better than most human beings. Are they well behaved? Can we really keep them around the house? Oh yes, absolutely. The only problem is that when they go on the settee. Um, there's less room for you and me, but uh, they're very, they like actually human company. And and you but say. But the great thing about the pig is they are very clean. Yes. Sorry. Uh, right. And you say they can be house trained. Are these already house trained? Oh yes, they are house trained. All you need is a big uh, cat flap, and um, you know something the size of a dog can go through a, a spaniel. Ooh. And then oh, go outside yeah. to do their lavatory. Will they come at the sound of their name? Oh yes, they they will do. Uh, but like most training, it's all cupboard love. You know, you just um, hold a little nut up, awesome. and they'll come along. And uh, but they will come to their name once they get used to you, or once they're um, a gisted, or they know where home is. Uh, they'll come to name because they'll always associate you with nice things. Mm. All right. Well, we'd love to see them run free, run free with all that that beautiful land that you have there, Chris. Here we go. They go for little walkers, because that little piggy might go wee, wee, wee all the way home. <laughs> um, it, could, oh. it could be a rasher moment, because some <laughs> of them might want moment. roast beef. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what, these little pigs, especially Tetley, has caused quite a storm in a teacup. He really does That's the smallest one. He's the little heroine. He's our next boar. Oh my oh, goodness! That is just cute. Chris, that's, I, I heard that you but told the wife. This is the small. You said the wife, honey, I shrunk the pigs. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you told her? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well, I always think that American film, honey, I shrunk the kids, and um, of course, the excitement is to get a mini pig, and um, people relate to them hugely. You know, when we have visitors here, it's not just children, but we get adults. Um, wanting to sit and vibe with the children to cuddle a pig, and they'll spend up to an hour or more just cuddling a pig. Oh. And the pigs actually go to sleep in your arms. If you tickle their tummies, oh, they love it. If you tickle the pig's tummy, they get quite soporific. Oh, they are Sopper. adorable. Well, Chris Murray, thank you very much for Ooh. sharing. Diane is very happy now. She's been quite satisfied. Thank you. All right, we'll get one named after you after all, Sam. Don't <laughs> worry about that.